Hello, hello! Welcome back to Red Ted Art. Oh my goodness, three YouTube rings. Now, obviously, I don't need three YouTube rings. Uh, this one's mine. This one's my friend's The Purple Alphabet. You might want to check out her channel down below. I'm going to link it. And this one is a giveaway prize that's right i'm giving this away to one of you to celebrate 200 200 thousand subscribers here on red ted art i'm so excited about the 200,000 that i thought i'd make my own play button reward and give one away now uh I'm also going to show you how to make them so you can watch how to make them first and at the end of the video I'm going to tell you how you can win this play button YouTube ring. So watch how to make it, stay tuned and find out how to win it. So to make our YouTube um, play button ring you're going to need some of these um, clasps i'm going to try and put some links down below you're going to need some polymer air drying clay uh, not air drying sorry polymer clay that you put in the oven to dry this is sculpty 3 in red um, then some white paint some varnish this is by the company fimo but any varnish is fine and i've used gem tack which is a really strong glue you can use e3000 i think in the us it does have to be glue like this because something like um hot glue gun or ordinary PVA glue will not hold. And even with this glue, I have to confess, I've put this in my pocket before, like my trouser pocket, and it came off, but then I just glued it back on again. So, I mean, it is really strong, just not, it can't be bent or squished too much. You do have to look after it. So the, the YouTube play button video, uh, video, <laughs> the YouTube play button uh, ring really is one of the easiest ones I've made. So basically you take your uh, polymer clay with the others you've had to sort of soften it and shape it and stuff but with this one I'm going to simply um, cut a slice off now the one I made previously I cut along it um, but I thought that was a bit too wide this time I'm just going to <laughs> cut it down the side like this and then I'm going to I am going to soften it a little bit because I want to smoothen the edges down a bit but I'm literally just going to shape it a tiny tiny bit but not not particularly much because it's already got a nice kind of YouTube sort of shape to it. So I'm just going to do that. And once it's smooth and I'm happy with it, I think that's quite good. I just want to make get sure that there's no unevenness. I might flatten it a tiny bit to make it a bit bigger because I do like them quite big. It's really just giving gentle shaping of what was already there. Normally with polymer clay, you do have to knead it and soften it, but this time I'm just literally shaping it a bit. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. All right, now I'm going to pop it onto the back of the ring, choose whatever side you think is nicer. I think I'll have this one on the front. And the only reason I'm doing that is just to give it a bit of shape so that whilst it bakes, it bakes into a shape that I can later glue a bit better, okay? So give it a bit of shape. And then I'm gonna pop it into the oven. Read your instructions on your polymer clay. I think it's 110 degrees C, but do read the instruction on the packaging. And I think you put it in for 15 minutes. I'm gonna go and do that now, and then we'll come back and do the next step. Okay, so this has been in the oven. Um, it was actually 130 degrees. I checked my um, instructions on the packaging beforehand. Um, and yeah, so it's 130 degrees. Now, this is the, probably the, the sort of slightly trickier bit. You have to be a bit more confident. Make sure my brush is not pointing in every direction. Um, I don't like that bit sticking up, it's a bit tricky. Now you basically have to very carefully draw on your triangle. You might find something like a toothpick helpful for the corners. 
It just depends on how fine your um, brush is. And I try and smooth that down a bit. My brush has gone a bit fuzzy. I don't know if you can see that. It used to be a really good brush. I need to, have to I need to trim off the edges that are sticking out because they're kind of distracting what I'm painting. So once that's and then you just let it dry basically. Now I did notice, and I don't know why this does this, but with for some reason my acrylic paint, my um, varnish, and the FIMO make the uh, white button go a bit pink. So once I put the varnish on later on, I'm going to have to also put on another layer of uh, red. You then take your very strong glue, your gem tack, or your E3000, and let that dry obviously, so be careful that it doesn't <laughs> come off. And then you put a nice, generous blob of glue on the back. Now your ring might have come off in the oven. Um, that does happen, that's fine. Then you just basically add the glue and push it back in place and add the glue. So I'm gonna just gently put it there and let it dry fully. Okay, it's time for my first layer of varnish. I say first layer because as I mentioned, the white, for some reason, goes a bit pink after a while. <laughs> Not after a while, but once the um, varnish has been applied. So I'm just gonna put a very, basic layer on so I'm not going to go all around the ring because I'm just going to let this dry and then um, I'm going to add another layer of white and then once that's dry I'm going to add the final layer of varnish. Now this only happens with the white for some reason um, and also with the red so for example on the uh, blue here I didn't have to put two layers on the red I did it's just one of those things um, but usually you just have to paint one time and you're fine. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit pinky. So I'm just going to add another layer of uh, white. Let it dry fully. Also make sure the back's fully dried. And then once both are fully dried, we can put a layer of varnish. Okay, so now it's literally the last coat of varnish and we're done. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. I hope you feel inspired to make one of your own. But if you don't, or if you feel that you can't get hold of the materials, this is the one I'm giving away. Yay! <laughs> I just wanted to thank you all for your super support over the last couple of years, actually, to get to the 200,000 mark, which is just simply amazing. So if you would like to win this YouTube play button, I need you to add this video to a playlist, like, and then once you've liked and added it to your playlist, leave me a comment down below to tell me you've done so. Otherwise, I don't know that you've entered. So, playlist, like, comment down below, and um, in the description down below, I'll give you the terms and conditions about when this competition will end and uh, how the winner will be notified. Anyway, good luck. Um, don't forget, keep watching and keep making and we'd love to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.